Hi everyone, welcome to Arcachon Bay, just south of Bordeaux. Today I'm visiting Quash, the French shipbuilder is specializing in yachts and military vessels. Florent Battistella, good morning. Good morning. You are the CEO of Quash. Can you please first tell us about the history of your shipyard? Right, okay, so very quickly, it's a hundred plus years old shipyard, starting uh, uh, with the marinization of engines. And around the 60s, uh, the famous Gikwash decided to build uh, composite boats, small boats, and then the, the story started. We acquired the shipyard late 2011, and since, we are developing our threefold strategy, I would say. A lot of technology, a lot of uh, operation excellence, and keeping in mind that we have to protect the planet. Florent, today in 2022, how big is your shipbuilding facility and how many, many employees do you have? Okay, so today uh, we sit on 70,000 square meters. We have around uh, 20 halls where we manufacture our products. And we are now above 300 people. All right, and uh, can you please tell us uh, some of the programs that are currently uh, in production here at the site? Yeah, of course. So we have basically three main programs, uh, two uh, defense programs where we actually built, you know, uh, on the one side, very heavily armed 22 meters long boat uh, for the Middle East. Another, which is behind me, a uh, fast boat for interception, uh, and eventually a very, uh, uh, I would say long-term program that we are having with the French Association for Rescue uh, where we have to replace you know the current fleet and we are very proud of it. Very well Florent, so can we please now get inside and take a closer look? Of course, please welcome. Very impressed and surprised to see a tank test uh, in your facilities. The first time I see a tank test at a shipyard. For which reason do you have uh, such uh, an installation? Right. So for us, the tank, tank test is a very, very important tool. We decided a few years ago, six years back, uh, to develop ourselves this tank test uh, with two objectives. First, confirming all the simulation we were doing, all the calculation, because from time to time, we had to get back to the official tank test that is not often available and very expensive, let's face it as well. So we decided to insource this capability. So the particularity of this tank test is the bot doesn't move. And this is very, very easy to make a lot of, you know, simulation and confirmation of the parametering of all our systems. So we use it at any other bot. So all your health forms are tested here? Yes, all of them. And we even developed the further holes, right? The new holes that we will deliver, I don't know, later. So we play with the shapes, you know, and the behavior of the plane, the, the boat. We are doing a lot of things here. Florent, uh, what do we have here? So here we are in the uh, mock-ups room, where basically we test all the systems that we are developing for the customer, uh, nearly in real life. So uh, we have a request uh, to be able to demonstrate that the softwares and all the connections we are making between the different systems are working properly. This is for our fast uh, uh, pat patrol boat, 22 meters long, and here we have validated that it is working properly. So all the integration is conducted here? Yeah, uh, this is, uh, you know, the specificity of our uh, scope of work. We take the full responsibility of the overall performance of the boats, including the systems that we have mounted uh, on the boat. Florent, we are now uh, standing in the research and development uh, department uh, in your offices. How important is R&D for Quash? R&D is more than important, it is crucial for our development. Uh, the main objective of this uh, entity that we started a few years ago is to create a lot of value for our customers. So we need to understand our customer and we need to align our talk with our uh, facts. Then we need to develop solutions for them. And here uh, both engineers and naval architects are working hand in hand. 
Yeah, everybody is working hand in hand. Uh, everybody has to bring, you know, its own knowledge of the uh, problems we have to solve, and it is a team working. I mean, there is no uh, one-man show. We need everybody to make it, you know, happen. And this is where. Uh people work on the future of, of Quash. Can you please uh, tell us a little bit of uh, what's next for, for Quash? Yeah, uh, the last step was to integrate systems. So we are very happy that we succeeded in uh, developing, you know, uh, complex and heavy systems on our boat. Uh, the next big project for us is to get into the unmanned, you know, surface vehicles. So this is uh, where our focus is today uh, to protect our future. And when can we expect to learn more about this at Euronaval, maybe? Probably Euronaval will be an opportunity for us uh, to start uh, sharing with the, the community what we do. But most importantly, we have to deliver a concept, uh, you know, object, let's call it that way, next year during the summer. Florent, can you confirm that all your boats are produced in uh, composites? Yeah, all our boats are composite. 99.5% are using infusion process. So everything is through the infusion process. Today, uh, just to give you an idea, every day uh, we manufacture a large piece in infusion process. So large pieces like this hull, which is more than 10 meters long, every day one is manufactured. So for the last two years, every day we have made such a part. Uh, and looking forward, I would say that our challenge is for sure to carry on controlling all these very complex processes, but to get even uh, better with the planet by turning, you know, uh, with better resins. This is our challenge. And when the hull is uh, manufactured uh, as well as uh, the pilot house, what's the, the next step? Do you have another large building where you do all the, the outfitting? Right. When we have uh, manufactured these big parts, these large parts, we send them to the assembly line, uh, which is designed as an automotive line. And we start having developing several flows to save cycle time. One of our main objectives when producing, you know, large series is to reduce cycle times. Time is money. We are now in Arcachon aboard an FPB Fast Patrol Boat 2200. Florent, what is the FPB 2200? Okay, the FPB 2200 uh, is uh, for Quash is a hull very well managed and known. The news on this board is that we have developed a very complex system uh, for different purposes uh, and we have the full responsibility for the integration of this system. That is uh, the new life of Quash. All right, uh, since we are here on the water, can we go out on a test ride? Uh, for sure, let's have a go. Florent, we are now on the bridge of the patrol boat. I counted uh, five operator stations, uh, as well as a large number of uh, mission racks for several systems. Can you tell us about the level of integration on, on this ship and uh, the, the various uh, workstations? Uh, sure. Very simply, on top of the standard uh, station, I would say, uh, just behind me, we have uh, on this bridge, which is rather compact, uh, all the management for sensors and actuators over there with a redundant combat management system and behind us on that side we have all the communication suite so very very compact and very efficient for the crew and that's a lot of uh, systems to integrate on a vessel of this size of the, which is uh, 22 meters in length absolutely uh, data acquisition systems and of course you know all the weapon system that we have integrated on this uh, boat uh, very challenging and uh, given the number of uh, weapon systems, so two remote weapon stations, one rocket launcher, is there a combat management system on board? Yes, it, it, there is one, uh, which is in front of us actually, the, the, the screen here, and it is uh, uh, developed with redundancy as well. We are now on the lower deck of the FPB 2200. The size and uh, the quality of the accommodation is quite impressive. Florent, uh, what's the crew complement on, on this boat? 
Right, so we can accommodate uh, 10 people uh, for mission up to five days. Uh, and you know, the yachting heritage of Quash uh, is pushing us actually to take a lot of care about comfort of the crew. This is why uh, we believe that we'll do a, a very good job and in a very comfortable you know, situation for so many days.